up everybody welcome to another edition of this channel welcome to another edition of vinyl tag all right everyone's doing multiple vinyl tags everyone's making up their own i was just gonna go on and you know do another video but i saw a really cool tag by dj vinyl vertigo that's right go follow dj vinyl vertigo he's created soul tag all right and I thought this would be fun to do. I think I have enough soul. Uh, I think I have enough records to answer these questions. And uh, for the ones that I don't, I'm going to do do my best. Uh, you know, uh, Vertigo, don't get mad at me. But uh, thank you for creating this tag. Uh, let's do this. Soul tag. <laughs> soul tag. Uh, question number one. Name your most uh, listened to soul album. Uh, this album came out two years ago already, <laughs> but I'm still listening to it, okay? And I know this is kind of like a funk artist and a hip hop artist, but this is a soul record and I still love it, all right? Uh, Silk Sonic, it's, um, you know, Bruno Mars and Anderson .Paak, uh, An Evening with Silk Sonic. This is a great, great sounding record. Uh, you know, if you want to call it, you know, Neo Soul or whatever it, it is. To me, it's old school. It's definitely just old school soul. Well done. It, you know, it was a clean sweep for them at the Grammys. Uh, not this year, the, the year before. This thing's really cool. It comes with, um, with a silk sleeve. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, man. A silk inner sleeve how about that you know how cool is that <laughs> and this thing sounds really good um great record i hope silk sonic does another album but if they don't you know what who cares this thing is uh i think this thing's a classic already anyways most listened to soul record that was question number one question number two most recent soul record that i bought that would be this one right here it's uh, Ray Charles in person. This is the Vinyl Me Please copy. Uh, they did a great job with this thing. Uh, it's a mono pressing. I love what they did with the, um, with the jacket. It's a nice sturdy uh, tip-on style jacket. You know, like that old school style. Um, I'm always um, pleased with, with Vinyl Me Please and the, the, the things that they do. And this is uh, no exception. Uh, this is Ray Charles in person. You know, it has uh, the right time and what I'd say. Those are Ray Charles classics. You know, when it comes to the right time, you know, I'm an, I'm an 80s kid. And <laughs> I used to watch the Cosby show. And, you know, that's like a classic episode. So every time, you know, you, I would hear the right time. You know, I would associate it with Cosby. But anyways, I'm taking it back, all right? I'm always going to associate it with this. It's one of his greatest songs. What I'd say is still, you know, just classic, a good jam, all right? So that's the last thing I bought right there, Ray Charles, in person. It comes on a mono blue vinyl with that old, uh, you know, pink and you know, Peach or whatever you want to call it, Atlantic label. Uh, sounds great. Sounds great. Question number three. Let me try to do this quickly. Male soul artist. Who did I pick? I'm going to go with uh, Barry White. This is Stone Gone. This, uh, you know, of course, it has Never, Never Gonna Give You Up. Just for that song alone, you know, this, this album is worth getting. This is a, a weird copy um it's like a gatefold but you know there's like this big sleeve in them like another sleeve in here where the record is there's a berry and in the gatefold it has uh you know this some of his uh his lyrics and then this thing kind of opens up like like that it's, it's a weird gatefold. I, anyways, Barry White, Stone Gone. That was question number three. Uh, question number four. 
uh, show a Stax release. I'm going to show this classic right here. Sam and Dave, hold on, I'm coming. This is an original that I scored. I mean, I don't even remember where I bought it, but um, and these aren't hard to find. And yeah, this is, uh, you know, on the Stax uh, label there. All right? Stax release. Sam and Dave, hold on, I'm coming. I always thought that was, I mean, that's an interesting choice for a cover, you know. A couple of guys on a, on a turtle. <laughs> hold on, I'm coming. You know, I'll be there in a sec. All right, anyways. Uh, next question. Uh, soul artist not from America. Okay, this was uh, impossible. I thought I had a Seal album or something. I thought I had a Sade 45, but I don't. And then, you know, Sade stuff is so expensive. Original Sade, you know, Diamond Life. You know, 50 bucks or something for an original beat up one. Anyways, this is the closest I can get to this question. And, and I apologize. He, he's not known as a soul artist. He's known as a reggae artist. But damn, he had a lot of soul. So here's my original copy of Exodus, Bob Marley from Jamaica. A soul artist, not from America. That's as close as I'm going to get to that. Uh, number six, female soul artist. I'm going to show uh, this one right here. Uh, Betty Harris, the lost queen of New Orleans soul. Uh, Betty Harris, uh, not from New Orleans. She's from the South, I think born in Florida. Moved out to California to pursue her music career. Ended up uh, in New York auditioning for like the Brill Building. And recorded a version of Solomon Burke's Cry to Me. Which, you know, got her lots of attention. And then she met Alan Toussaint, producer. New Orleans, famed Alan Toussaint, New Orleans uh, producer. And they got together and recorded um, uh, most of the stuff that's on here. And a lot of the songs that you that are on here can be found on her album Soul Perfection. But here they made this compilation. This is a record store day release uh, on gorgeous green vinyl. Let me just read it here. 17 songs written and produced by Alan Toussaint and featuring the meters. Uh, they weren't the meters yet, but the guys playing on this album playing with her were the dudes that would eventually become the meters this is a great freaking album great find on record store day this is when record store day rocks when they put out stuff like this and uh, this is a great great um, compilation uh, like I said it's it's most of the songs that you can find on soul perfection on her album plus a few more all originally recorded in New Orleans between 1964 and 1969. Limited edition one-off pressing on heavyweight green vinyl. You guys, I would open it up because there's a gatefold in here, but I haven't even done that. I just did the little slice down here to take the record out. Uh, this is a collector's item for sure. Man. Beautiful, gorgeous green vinyl and it sounds great female soul artist betty harris okay ne next question next question gospel album single by a soul artist yeah i don't i don't have any gospel music <laughs> i should right uh this is as close as it's gonna get um i'm gonna show my copy of al green's greatest hits okay uh here's a man who you know, went between spirituality and sexuality, and he did it uh, in a classy, classy way. Uh, who doesn't love Al Green? I, I love that falsetto. This is uh, Greatest Hits, Fat Possum Records. All right? <laughs> it's got everything on here. You know, uh, Let's Stay Together. I'm still in love with you. Uh, love and happiness. There it is. Question... Number seven, gospel album by a 
soul artist. That really wasn't it, but that was the best I could do. Next question. A uh, blue-eyed soul artist. I could have showed a few things, but I wanted to show this because it's probably like one of the coolest records I own. It's none other than Dusty Springfield. This is her album, Dusty in Memphis. Uh, this is the one that has, you know, Son of a Preacher Man. This is a, an original Atlantic on this uh, kind of pink and tan label here. Uh, Dusty Springfield. Uh, some may say the queen of blue-eyed soul, right? Next question. A soul artist that more people should be aware of. Again, this guy may not be considered soul. He may be considered neo-soul. He may be even be considered alternative rock. But I think he's a soulful guy and I've always been into his music. Uh, he started off with a group called The Internet. I know he's worked with like Tyler the Creator. He's a Southern Cal native just like me. I believe he's from Compton. Uh, it's Steve Lacey. Uh, can't say enough about Steve Lacey. Just love this dude. This is his uh, album Apollo 21. Uh, kind of hard to find. I got really lucky with this copy. And this is uh, his latest uh, Gemini. Alright, this is the one that had Bad Habit on it. A uh, bunch of Grammy nominations. Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, he's kind of borderline alternative soul. But um, he's one of my favorite artists. And I think uh, a lot of people uh, don't know uh, enough about him. So there it is. Steve Lacey. My two copies of Steve Lacey, Apollo 21. And uh, his uh, latest album, Gemini Rights. Do Geminis have rights? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Of course they do. Anyways, next question. Soul artist featured on a rock album. Jeez, I, I should have... This should have been easy, but I just couldn't find anything. I couldn't think of anything. And the first thing that popped into my head was, uh, was my copy of Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation 1814. This is my original CD from 1989. Uh, junior High Kid. This is a huge freaking album. Huge. And it has a song on here called Black Cat. Alright. Straight up straight up rock and roll jam. Okay. Done by Miss Janet Jackson. Uh, she hadn't done anything like that before. Of course, you know, her brother Michael had beat it or whatever. But this was um, this was her turn to, to rock out. So that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation 1814, the song Black Cat, soul artist on a rock record. Next question. Uh, show a Motown release. I'm going to go with this right here. Martha and the Vandellas. Dance party. All right. On the Motown label. This is um, a reissue. RSD Black Friday <laughs> reissue. But uh, who cares? I mean, I had to have this in my collection. It's got everything. Nowhere to run. Dancing in the street. This is a classic. And yeah, it is a dance party. Old school. Soul dance party. Martha and the Vandellas on Motown. Next question. Number 12. A soul artist deserving of a box set. Uh, I looked up if he had a box set and I could only find a CD box set. And I really think that uh, this guy needs his own box set. Especially like all the early stuff or maybe everything from the 70s. Uh, I'm talking about Stevie Wonder, of course, and this is uh, Inner Visions. Inner Visions is, is Stevie's best album from beginning to end. Um, this is a classic. I love this album. Higher Ground, Don't You Worry About a Thing, uh, Too High. Uh, I could go on and on here, but I think Stevie needs a box set. You know, an audiophile quality box set. You know, maybe with some, like, cool 45s of his early singles, like a cool 45 of Fingertips. And then followed by all the stuff he did, like, starting with Music of My Mind and then going all the way to, 
you know, like the 80s or something, early 80s. You know, maybe you can end it with a, a single of I Just Called Say I Love You or something. But I think Stevie needs a box set. There, that's my answer. Next question. Uh, question number 13. Soul act seen in concert. Again, this guy is multi-genre. But, uh, yeah. I still consider him a soul artist. I mean, he can be called a rock god, even. Uh, it would be Prince. I got to see Prince Musicology Tour, I think it was 2003, man, uh, nothing will ever be better than that concert, but then again, I say that about every concert. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to see Prince at the Staples Center out here in Los Angeles. Staples Center is now called Crypto.com Arena, go figure. Uh, he didn't have an opening act scheduled on the bill. There was nothing on the ticket. And then all of a sudden, you know, the, the, the room, the, you know, the, the place was maybe a third full. People were still coming in and then the lights went down. And I'm like, this can't be the concert already. You know, it's coming on. And then, you know, you just you see this band rise up from the floor and, and you hear a voice go, ladies and gentlemen, Morris Day and the time. Uh, and, and I lost my shit, okay? Um, I got to see the time and them in 2003. Uh, a phenomenal experience. That was uh, my answer to question 13. 14. Jazz record by a soul artist. Yeah, this was tough. I don't, I mean, I thought of this, okay? And this may not qualify, but this is the best I can do. I'm going to show my copy of Free Will, Gil Scott Heron. He can be considered a soul artist, uh, maybe funk. Some people will call him, you know, like, a, to me, he was a poet and he was a soul artist. But, you know, this album is very freeform. It's very jazzy. So that's why I'm picking it <laughs> for question. Number 14, jazz record by a soul artist, Gil Scott Heron, Free Will, even though that may not qualify. <laughs> Next question, 15, soul artist in a group recording and a solo recording. I have to go with the only thing I have here, and it's probably the most obvious, it's Michael Jackson. Okay, and here's a copy of Off the Wall, an original, you know, with the, um, with the gay fold that opens like that okay Michael Jackson off the wall and here's a copy of Jackson 5 ABC really cool record store day release on blue vinyl with the Motown label yeah I'm a record store day guys you're gonna see a bunch of record store day videos this year <laughs> anyways moving on 16 favorite soul song uh that was pretty easy my favorite soul song is uh, is, is what's going on it's definitely and this is an amazing album by the one and only marvin gay this is the 1984 copy uh i do have an original from from tamla tamla records tamla was a subdivision of of motown uh, but this is the 1984 copy that was released, remastered, and released after his death. And it used to be a really sought-after copy because it sounded way better than the original, and it does. But since, you know, after the 50th anniversary came out, a bunch of audiophile copies came out of this. This whole album is fantastic, but... You know, What's Going On is a beautiful, beautiful song. It's my favorite soul song. What's Going On, Marvin Gaye. All right, question 17. Uh, reggae soul artist release. Uh, this was tough for me. Uh, I could not think of what to, to look for, but I do have this here. This is a 12-inch 45 on a green sleeves record label and it's a song called I'm Not Crazy by an artist called Don McCarlos and Captain Sinbad 
it's uh it's a reggae tune but it's definitely got it i mean it sounds soulful to me man i'm not crazy you know uh the lyrics i'm not crazy over you baby even though i'm under your spell it's a really cool song uh green sleeves records from london are they still around they you know released roots records reggae records and uh you know here's the uh, the original the original sleeve green sleeves records and that would be my reggae soul uh you know answer i'm not crazy don mccarlos and captain sinbad if you guys can look up that song go for it enjoy next question 18 live in concert soul recording i wish i had more i think i had a copy of uh marvin gay live at the palladium it is really beat up but i'll show this here it is the uh, box set uh prince and the revolution the purple rain tour this thing is uh insane it's four discs. There's a blue ring in here of the concert. There's a couple of CDs. There's a big book. I mean, I've got the hype sticker there still. <laughs> All right. Um, here's a here's a download code. I think that might still be good. Uh, like I said, a booklet. It's all on purple vinyl yeah amazing concert i wish i had went to this one but no i went to i went to the musicology tour in 2003 i was too uh i was a little boy when this came out <laughs> so yeah there's my my live recording sounds great sounds great next question soul compilation released i showed this on my vinyl tag i'll show it again it's this really cool copy stacks number ones it's got you know all the the quintessential stacks records you know green onions hold on i'm coming you know i just showed that right now knock on wood soul man sitting on the dock of the bay it's got the theme from shaft i bought this at at, at a target and i just thought it was kind of cool that you know you could find something like this at a department store <laughs> You know, for somebody who would want to get into something like this and it's available. Really cool. Uh, you know, it comes on this red and white swirl vinyl. And it sounds just fine. Sounds just fine. My compilation there for question number 19. And the last question, question number 20. Favorite soul channel in the VC... I don't know any channels that are dedicated to just soul. So I'm just going to shout out DJ Vinyl Vertigo. Thank you very much for creating this tag. I hope I did it justice. Uh, I hope it wasn't too embarrassing. Uh, thank you for creating it. Uh, everybody go follow DJ Vinyl Vertigo. Try to do the soul tag or pass it along to somebody who you know has a huge soul collection. And uh, Vinyl Vertigo, I hope you feel better. He's been uh, struggling with bronchitis lately. Uh, I grew up with asthma. <laughs> so I know what that's like, you know. I, you know, I grew up with this thing here. So Vinyl Vertigo, that's for you. Feel better. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.